Most of us, whether we are on the spiritual path, in the struggle for social justice, or looking to make a better world, do not think about the role that our collective consciousness, or what Jung called the collective unconscious, plays in our efforts. Sad because it is our collective psyche that often stands as an impediment to those efforts when it should be facilitating our spiritual development and helping improve the world. My name is Mattis Center and this is the first in a series of videos in which I will be talking about our collective being, what it is, how it is created, and how it operates, and how we can work with it. In this first segment I will talk about what our collective consciousness is and why it matters. Carl Jung said, this personal unconscious rests upon a deeper layer which does not derive from personal experience but is inborn. This deeper layer I call the collective unconscious. It is, in other words, identical in all men and thus constitutes a common psychic substrate of a suprapersonal nature which is present in every one of us. Our collective psyche exists in a higher plane of existence, above the physical, energy, and mental planes. It is a storehouse of humankind's thoughts going back to when we first entered the physical plane and took our first breath. It is the sum of all that we have thought, felt, and done since then. It is dynamic and being shaped by us every moment. It also shapes us. In many ways, it is similar to what theosophists call the Akashic Record, the Abraham Traditions, the Book of Life, because it is a cumulative record of humankind's thoughts and deeds. Every thought and deed that has ever transpired exists there. The notion that our collective psyche is being continually shaped by our thoughts and deeds differs from Carl Jung, who felt that the collective unconscious was static and set in stone before humankind existed. This is an important distinction because if the collective unconscious continues to be shaped by humankind, it means that we are not trapped and that our collective psyche can be transformed by us. Just as the mind holds sway over the physical body, what we call the mind-body relationship, so does the collective mind hold sway over the individual mind. This is because the collective mind exists in a higher plane of existence than the individual mind. And one of the governing rules of the ultimate reality is that higher planes influence lower planes. Things flow down. Our collective thoughts descend upon us looking to manifest and become conscious by having us think about them or act out their intention. They are no different than individual thoughts that say, Hey, think about me. Pay attention to me. Do what I want. Because these collective thoughts descend upon us from a higher plane of existence and have the collective power of unity, they have a tremendous sway upon us. In other words, they can manipulate and influence us. As we shall discuss in the next video on collective thought forms, our thoughts coagulate and form amalgams in our collective unconscious, creating such things as archetypes that shape our character and behavior. These collective thought forms influence everything from what we call reality to our physical appearance and to that of other species as well. Unfortunately, most of our thoughts and deeds have not been good. And because of this, our collective psyche is dominated by selfish and violent thought forms. These, as we shall see in the next video, have coagulated and metastasized, creating malicious thought forms, nasty things like corporations and other artificial entities that mercilessly rule over us, dominating our lives and manipulating the way that we think. We are one. Many spiritual teachers say that we are one and are intimately linked to each other. The realm of the collective consciousness is one of the places where this unity is manifest. Because we are one and are influenced by our collective being, it is important to understand how it operates and to begin constructively working with it. World peace, heaven on earth where the lion lies down with the lamb, can be had by learning how to work with collective thought forms.
10,000 years of ugly and evil misunderstanding lost you so much pride was your sin in darkness your power hate was your hope and the thorn was your flower Come to the fire and throw in your wishes and come to the river and throw in your dreams. All is forgiven. Raise up your hand and come back to the promise. Seven, seven, seven.